Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my new video where we are going to be going over the meta runes for Swain. Now, before I get into the runes, I want to let you guys know I have um, a couple different playlists that I think you should check out if you're really serious about getting um, good at Swain and getting a good understanding of the champion. I have an educational Swain playlist where I go over combos, very unique tips that I have not seen anywhere else on YouTube. So please make sure to give those a, a look as well as some longer form um, gameplay and uh, matchup guides. Uh, there was one that was really good whenever you play against a Mumu support. Um, I just you how to completely abuse that champion and destroy it in lanes. So getting into the runes, the only usable rune in my opinion is in the precision tree is conquer. Now you can only be using this rune when the enemy team comp has very low burst damage and has very minimal assassins. The only caveat that what I that I would give to this is if you are opting into the new mythic item that gives you that bit of damage reduction at the start of the fight, you might be able to get away with a conqueror rune against several assassins if you are going that mythic item. So keep that in mind. Now, my personal and go-to rune is electrocute because it is a catch-all that is very, very strong. You're always going to be able to proc it in the team fights unless you're just getting absolutely 100 to zero bursted out. I think it is a really, really strong rune. Dark Harvest is a little bit troll. I think it has some decent scaling, but I do not think it is going to be great. Predator might have some applications if you are running Swain uh, mid lane, but again, it is not going to be meta. It is going to be handicapping yourself in some way. The only time you should be looking at Comet or a airy setup is when you are um, looking to troll or try out new things. Um, sometimes I play a W Max um, Spell Pen Rush Swain build that can be a little bit fun. I like running Comet just to maximize my W damage um, from a long distance. The only application of Phase Rush when you are using Swain is if you are up in the top lane and you're pointing against something that is looking to chase you down, something like a Trindamir or Darius, that is when Phase Rush can be effective up in the top lane. Now, Grasp is a little bit of a it's a little bit of a trap for a lot of people. It is nice to be able to, it feels nice to proc that and get that little bit of extra health, but overall in team fights, it's gonna get outperformed by so many different runes in my opinion. I think even Aftershock would outperform um, Grasp in the vast majority of the different team fights if you're getting focus and even Guardian might outperform Grasp. So um, this is gonna be not really too strong of a rune. Maybe up in top lane, if you're just going against a Scion that's gonna push over and over again and is giving you a bunch of free autos, that is the only time it's gonna be usable. Now, we are gonna be talking about the two different runes that have been added in this season. Now, Glacial Augment is going to be great because it provides that 15% damage reduction. Essentially, a mini exhaust on a 25 second cooldown can be very, very effective. However, it is reliant on the enemy team uh, to, or being able to actually catch the enemy team with your E and also it is going to be a lot better against enemy team comps with a lot of melee champions that are going to be just funneling into one particular champion. And finally, the new rune first strike, I did a whole video on it, but essentially I think that it is only usable against enemy an enemy lane that is uh, just gonna allow you to scale and you do not have too much kill pressure, so Electrocute wouldn't bring you too much in the lane. That is when first strike can be quite effective and you can also just be consistently proccing first strike um, with your long range Ws in the late game every 15 seconds. So this can start giving you a lot of gold over time that can eventually start outperforming um, something like an Electrocute. If you guys have uh, your own opinions, obviously I don't think that I know everything about um, Swain. I just wanted to give people that maybe are uh, a little bit below me in ELO, if you guys haven't um, gotten the diamond, I just encourage you guys to just run Electrocute over and over and over again, in particular if you're just playing um, support. So if you have any questions for me, let me know. If you have any build suggestions that you want to see me try or do a video on, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. And with all that out of the way, guys, that's going to wrap up my video. Make sure to check out uh, the playlist with the different gameplays, my, my tip videos, as well as um, more longer formatted guide videos. And let me know uh, what kind of content you guys would like to see in the future. And as always, take it easy.